This, this is, is the blessed Lawrence, who gave himself up for the treasure of the church. For this he earned the suffering of martyrdom, to ascend with joy to the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, giver of that order of love for you, by which St. Lawrence was outstandingly faithful in service and glorious in martyrdom, grant that we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each must do as already determined, without sadness or compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all you need, you may have an abundance for every good work. As it is written, he scatters abroad, he gives to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. The one who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed and increase the harvest of your righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steadfast. He shall not fear till he looks down upon his foes. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Lavishly he gives to the poor, his generosity shall endure forever, his horn shall be exalted in glory. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. 
Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to the Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you. Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Today the church remembers and honors St. Lawrence, deacon of Rome, who gave his life for the faith in the year 258, if I'm not mistaken. Lawrence said something toward the end of his life, which I think we can reflect upon today. And I'll couch that with uh, this example. Growing up, we have all most likely heard told or been on the receiving end of a joke directed toward a certain group of people. Generally, these jokes are told by uh, friends of ours uh, or acquaintances, people that we know, and they can look at us and they can tell a joke. I know growing up in Louisiana, how many Cajun jokes did I hear? And now a priest, how many priest jokes have I heard? And you've all heard jokes. Uh, also directed toward groups. But we have, we move on from jokes to bullying where people will say things to deride and belittle others. And I'm sure you've heard those things. You've probably been on the receiving end of those things. And sadly, we probably all have said something of that nature. Now, Lawrence, what he said toward end of life is what we need to reflect upon today. Lawrence, when told by the emperor to bring to him the treasures of the church, brought people just like each of you. You sitting here in the chapel, those watching. Just, the, back then they're called the poor, but Nowadays, we'd say just the person on the street, the person who is powerless, who doesn't have the great popularity. Uh, it may not be an athletic superstar or a television or movie superstar. They're just the person that you know, your next door neighbor, per se. Lawrence brought them in front of the emperor and said this, these people, they, are the treasures of the church. And that's the message I want to convey to you today. You are a treasure of the church. Now, although we may look at the church and we generally reflect upon the ills committed by either certain priests or bishops, and we want to look at the whole by just parts, but we know that that's wrong. There are some doctors who have uh, malpractice suits against them, but we don't denigrate all doctors by the actions of a few. There are some teachers that really aren't good teachers, but we don't label all teachers by the actions of a few. So we can't label the church by the actions of a few. Because the message of the church 
is one that God loves you because he sees in you a treasure. You are valuable. And we need to be reminded of that daily as Lawrence did to those, to the emperor and to those people. They are treasures, they are valuable. We need to be reminded of that because with the rise of social media and especially nowadays, when it's not uncommon for someone to be called the most vile of names by people who have uh, positive moods associated with them. I find it, uh, I find it very disheartening because you'll see some who experience this form of cyberbullying to the point where they end up taking their own life horrifically and tragically. You are a treasure of the church. You are valuable. And God sees you that way. So don't do like the old pirates and consider yourself a treasure that needs to be buried. You like that one, huh? <laughs> Jean Lafitte, Louisiana man. But instead, see yourself for who you are. You are valuable. You are a treasure. You're someone that is loved so much that God's only son chose to shed his blood for you. So treat yourself like that. Don't denigrate yourself. Lawrence died for people just like us. And it's people just like us who can attain heaven and change the world while we're here through prayer, sacrifice, and good works. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord our we pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord our prayer. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video today. And for you here present in our chapel this morning. For all of you. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray finally that the infant of Prague will continue to watch over the finances of our parishes, that we may always have enough of what we need. This is the intention of our Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory Lord, be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord sacrifice and your name. 
Receive with favor, O Lord, the offerings we joyfully make on the feast day of St. Lawrence, and grant that they become a help to our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We live with the Lord, Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is surely right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. The very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give order to their faith, to their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Mm-hmm. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we with all the host of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Those are in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Those are in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And at the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant the peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of your works, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, ye take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am our Lord, and he is the Lord, and I'm our Lord. But I will go say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be, says the Lord. <coughs> Let us pray. Nourished by these sacred gifts, we humbly implore you, Lord, that the homage of dutiful service which we render on the Feast of St. Lawrence may bring us an increase of your saving grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. 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 May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy, Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of death. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the evil spirits, who walk into this world, seeking the ruin of all souls. Amen. Divine praise and protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed be God. Blessed be the Holy Name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and married conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and His angels and His saints.